Transportation is a discipline that is an important part of our everyday lives and the world's economic system. It is such an integral part of our lives that we do not always notice the impacts that it has on the environment around us. Roads cover a large portion of the country to enable our daily need for transportation. Although they are important, roads have negative impacts and contribute to environmental issues. Through the duration of this video, environmental impacts and various solutions will be discussed with an emphasis on permeable concrete and its advantages and disadvantages. Concrete surfaces such as roads contribute to the heat island effect, which impacts weather and climate. The heat island effect happens when light is absorbed by dark colored roads and is then converted into thermal energy and finally released as heat, thus warming the surrounding area. Traffic pollutants, which can be found in road dust, can contribute to water pollution from surface runoff. Pollutants and emissions are produced when roads are built and used. Cars emit greenhouse gases, and additionally, cars and roads create pollutants that can be washed off road surfaces in water and spread to surroundings. Increased noise generated by traffic is another issue that can generate stress in ecosystems and cause psychological and physical harm to the humans nearby. Solutions to some of these environmental issues include public transportation, which would help in reducing the use of personal vehicles and the amount of greenhouse gases emitted per person. Improving commuting patterns, such as carpooling, would also reduce greenhouse gas emissions per person. Using renewable resources for fuel, for example electric cars charged by solar panels, would generate less emissions. And permeable pavements, which offer a solution to reduce water runoff and the heat island effect. We will now focus on more benefits of permeable concrete and its impacts on transportation. Permeable concrete is concrete with voids to allow for water drainage. A typical permeable concrete cross-section includes the top layer or the permeable concrete layer that is four to six inches thick. This consists of cement, coarse aggregate, which is usually gravel or crushed limestone, a water to cement ratio, and some additional add-ins like silica, fume, and latex. The cement is first mixed with the aggregate before adding the cement and water mixture to improve the bond strength. The next layer is the permeable base layer, which includes 18 inches of just coarse aggregate or rock for drainage. Underneath that is the subgrade layer, which is the dirt below the concrete. If the permeability is low in the subgrade, additional pipes will be placed to improve the water drainage. Permeable concrete has many advantages. It improves skid resistance on rainy days by removing water at a fast rate. It also reduces ice formation on cold days due to the absorption of water. There is a reduction of noise because the porous pavement tends to absorb most of the sound generated by the traffic. It also reduces the heat island effect in large cities due to its light, lighter color. Permeable concrete can be made from recycled materials which allows for the minimizing costs or further increasing of, of the environmental impact. Most importantly, it allows for water to run into soil instead of draining into specific areas and contribute to flood risk. The ability for water to drain through the soil helps filter out contaminants and prevent buildup of unwanted pollutants in water bodies. Drainage through the soil is also vital to recharge groundwater which is a major water source for many communities. The disadvantages of permeable concrete include an increased installation cost or yearly or bi-yearly maintenance to unclog the voids or, and restore permeability. This process can possibly contaminate the groundwater. Even though permeable concretes decrease the rate of ice formation, sanding or salting the roads will still occur, causing them to clog the pores. Due to the yearly or bi-yearly cleaning, depending on the location, the pores may be too clogged to allow maximum absorption. The more clogged the pores get, the more surface runoff will occur. This defeats the purpose of permeable concrete. Also, permeable concrete is low in strength, therefore resulting in failure at an early stage. Due to this, permeable concrete should not be used for highways or airport runways, but can be implemented in lower traffic areas for now. An example of using permeable pavement would be a case study in Chicago. Chicago is a city with an estimated 3,500 acres of impervious surface. The city of Chicago has implemented a green alley program to install permeable pavements in old alleyways. The updates and maintenance for these alleys and stormwater systems were reduced in cost by using permeable pavement instead. Chicago now has about 46 green alleyways. To learn more, you can read the Green Alley Handbook found on the City of Chicago's website. Gradual change towards use of permeable pavements would be beneficial to the environment and humans that live in it. It reduces heat re-emission into the environment, reduces polluted surface runoff, improves groundwater recharge, and reduces noise emissions. It also has the potential to reduce costs and increase safety with improved skid resistance. It is not without need for improvements as there is a lot of required maintenance and low strength and durability that future engineers will have to improve to make wider implementation more possible. All in all, permeable pavement is a viable option to continue doing research on for the future of transportation.